So this is your dashboard um, and this is where you can view and upload your media, so that's images and videos. Also FAQs, you can add uh, frequently asked questions into the system and also documents um, and you can pretty much upload documents of any kind, be those presentations, uh, fact sheets, example itineraries, menus, uh, room configurations, anything you want that you think would be useful for your staff and for your clients. Um, and the end here, the view network, this is where you see everyone that you're already connected to and the directory is everyone in Squirrelfish. So let's quickly jump to the directory because one of the reasons that Squirrelfish is different to pretty much anything else um, out there is that it's also a marketing platform. So you can basically come in here and look for outbound operators around the world. Uh, you can search by country, you can search by name, uh, or, or any kind of word in the, in the um, search box here. And you can find buyers around the world that you might want to work with. And you can click them here, add to network, and you can send them a little message, uh, pretty much like LinkedIn works, and see if they want to connect with you. And if they do, they will um, accept you. And once they've accepted you, they can then have access to all your digital assets that are in the system. And obviously, you can imagine from the buyer side, the benefit is that they can access lots of different suppliers all in one place without having to go into everybody's different websites or drop boxes, etc. Um, so let's let's dig in a bit deeper here. So as we go into the media, everything you can do in Squirrelfish is word searchable. So you can search. Um, so say your staff are using it for a blog or for uh, website work or anything like that, they can actually word search um, from the top level. They can, if they're searching from the, the dashboard, they would be then searching FAQs, documents, everything, images, or they can search in this level, which is obviously searching the media. So this is where we have all the images and videos that you've uploaded. You can add your own categories here as you upload things. And these kind of act like folders, but they're better than folders in that you can um, add as many as you want to a particular image. So if you have an image of a beach and a family, you can add as many categories to that image as you want. Um, as we uh, go over the images, you can see we can see the title here um, and we can see how big the image is. is um, you can download small, medium or original uh, if the image is large enough, then an L will appear and you can also download that. So you download by clicking and adding them into your shopping cart and then you can continue searching around the system. Um, if you're not sure what the sizes mean, you can click for more information here. Um, and this will tell you what we mean by small, medium and large. Um, or the original will tell you um, how big the, the, the biggest image possible is, which is again why we advise that you always upload your largest image as possible. Um, also, we, we recommend putting in copyright information so that both your staff and your clients and anyone looking at the image, maybe it's press or journalists, they can see exactly who owns the image and how they're allowed to use it. Okay. Um, you can also share images here um, using this. You can send an image to somebody's email or you can send to someone who's already in the Squirrelfish um, area. Your uh, message box is this little speech bubble up here. So if you are, if someone's asking to link with you or they've sent you a message, they would appear in this area. So um, let me just take you quickly back to the uh, media area and just go over a few things in there. So as I mentioned, both you and uh, any clients or users using it from the other side, they will add um, images by selecting which size they need um, and they will go up into the shopping basket here. So they can keep looking around and keep adding things. As a buyer, they can even then go into different suppliers um, and, and add things into the shopping cart. Um, and when they are ready, they just go into the shopping cart and you just download the media, which will download um, a zip file onto your computer. Um, this means that people don't have to um, download all of your images onto their servers. 
um, and kind of look after them themselves. They can just use this um, as and when they need it. They can search for things um, and just download things. Um, you can also filter by size of image, um, which press find very useful um, if they only want to look for large images. So they don't want to find a beautiful image and then find out it's not uh, big enough for them to use for large print. Um, basically with the search word search, um, we really encourage users to put great titles on their images and use the category as well and also use tags um, which appear at the bottom because basically then when someone's doing a word search the system will search the title, the category and the tag of, an, of anything that's in the system um, and then give you the results based on that. Also when somebody downloads the image the file name will be the same as the title which means if you come across an image later and you're not quite sure what it's of um, if it has a great title, then you, you're going to make sure that um, whether it's your staff or a client, they know exactly what the image is on, of and will use it appropriately and title it appropriately. Um, for videos, there's just a download or a share button and you can view the videos in the system before you decide to download them. Um, you can also um, select image or video here for searching. Um, when you upload images, um, you can select by dragging and dropping. Um, you can put as many in as you like um, at a time. Let's go and see what I can find to upload. Oh, Portugal, there we go. Let's just upload a couple of Portugal images. So um, obviously, depending on what your internet speed is like, uh, we recommend uploading, say, 10 or 15 at a go, depending on how big the images are and what your internet speed is like. Um, they then come into this area which is pending, which is what this hourglass area is. So if you get called away, um, uh, you get busy, um, you um, have to go and do something else, um, and then you want to come back to this later, um, everything will stay in the pending file here and the system will remind you that there's something in the pending area you need to work on so you can come back and then you can work on it. Um, you can edit one at a time by selecting each one or you can edit uh, two at a time or more than that obviously and um, the benefit of that is that say you're a hotel and you've got 10 great shots of the same bedroom type you might want to make most of the title the same, you know, bedroom three, um, hotel name, um, and then what you can do is come back to it later um, and just edit each one in turn for the final edit if you want to. So I found that really useful. Um, here is where you add categories, so you can just start to add categories and type them in, and if they exist already, you can select them. Um, and if they don't exist, let's try something like, um, I don't know, I was going to put fairy, but I've already <laughs> used that. Um, space, I don't think space has been used, no, right, so that's a new one. So we just add that into the system. And then you decide, oh no, I don't like those, you can take them off. The way we use tags is really, we try and keep the number of categories down to just a few so that they're very easy to use for users and they're on the top there. But if you want to um, add more things to the image so that people can really find what they're, what they're looking for on the word search. So for instance, if it's a picture of people cycling, but you think that um, you want um, to make sure that the word bike is in there or bike riding, etc. You can just add lots of tags there um, to make sure that however someone is searching for things in the system, you've covered all the bases, much like keyword searches for your SEO on your website. Um, then you can pop some text in the copyright here and you can just copy and paste each time so you have the same one. Um, and then you can click save or publish. So if you click save, what that means is it goes back into the pending file um, because you then might want to just tweak um, one or the other. Um, if you click publish, that's when it goes into the system and is um, now in the system for everyone to view. Um, 
You can also add um, a reminder date on images if you want to uh, check that they're not out of date. You can, you can do that. So it will then send you a message and an email at the appropriate time to say, hey, um, you, you set a reminder, you want to, do, to check um, uh, you want to check this image and see if it was still relevant, um, so you can do that. I find that's particularly useful in FAQs, um, so that you can check that everything in the system is always up to date. Um, here's the documents section, so in the same way you can upload documents, uh, you can give them um, a title, uh, you can give them categories, you can give them tags, and this is where you come and you can download or share or edit your documents. Um, and in the same way, when you add a new document, you upload it in the same way. You can choose an image if you want to, or you can just have those standard icons. You add a good title here. And this is where you can add the reminder. So here you can um, select from one month to a year. Um, if you want to be reminded to just check it, check that it's still up to date, edit it, and then you all just delete it. And again, you can add categories and tags here to documents as well. Um, as I said, okay, great. And then just finally, I'll show you quickly the knowledge section. I don't believe we've got any FAQs in here from Casilla. Um, but again, this is where you can add um, frequently asked questions. You put the title, you put the answer, you can set a category or a tag. And again, this is a great area to set a reminder. So you can always be sure that you're being reminded of what FAQs you've got in the system, what your answers are, and are they still relevant? Okay. And um, let me just quickly show you again. So basically, when you search from this area, um, you can put a word search in. Um, and it will give you a result of anything that has that word in it from your media and your FAQs and your documents. Great. Now I'd like to show you what it looks like um, from a representation side. So if you are a hotel or a DMC that works with um, a representation company, they can also join Squirrelfish and they can link with you in the system so that you become part of their portfolio. So here we have the wonderful Senderos in the UK and if we click on their portfolio we will see that here is Casilla. And when you then go into Casilla here and look at all the wonderful media and videos they have but you're coming in through the Senderos um, portal you'll see all the same images and documents. You're essentially looking at exactly the same place in the system that we were looking at on the other area. And that means that Casilla can be confident that um, Senderos or anybody that's looking at their and using their resources through Senderos is accessing their latest information and um, is always um, up to date. There is no fear that they've downloaded and are using images or information that are now out of date. The other side of that is let's go back here and um, get out of the system this way and let's log in now as um, a DMC. So let's log in as Viaventure Costa Rica. So now Viaventure uses Casilla and they are a member of Squirrelfish. So what they can do as well is ask permission to link with Casilla and then if you go into the Via Venture portfolio and you search for Casilla, sorry, spelling wrong, they will come up. And again, if Via Venture wants to use Casilla's images to promote them through their work, or they've got clients coming in through the Via Venture portal, and those clients want to use Casilla to promote them, and we come into the media or the documents or, or so forth, then again, we're exactly in the same position and we're looking at all your latest images and videos. And again, you can be absolutely sure that everybody is accessing your latest resources. So whether it's a DMC or a representation company um, that is promoting you through their area, um, everyone is still seeing the latest information. Great. Um, there is another video that shows you how it looks from the buyer side. So if you're interested in that, do just go to our um, YouTube channel and take a look at that and you can see what that's like. I hope this was useful. And of course, anytime you want a live demo 
uh, or to chat further, please just get in touch. Thanks so much for your time.